And welcome to episode two. The Compass Points North. This episode's going to cover topics such as rationality and um, how to follow through with uh, decision making. Sherry on top of rooftop. I'm really wondering whether or not the group came up with its best decision. I'm starting to think maybe there could have been better ideas we can go on about. As you can see, Sherry's on top of the roof, thinking about what they just, you know, decided. They got together, they met up, sounded like a good idea, they brainstormed a little bit, put together marketing mix and they decided all right that works let's take off it. she's starting to think maybe this wasn't the best idea she's debating that it was bounded rationality bounded rationality involves going with what uh, makes the most sense without thinking too much further into their doing research let's carry on Here Sherry's bringing up her concerns to Don. Don, I was just thinking to myself how we really came up with that decision rather quickly. Maybe we should do some further research. You know, Sherry, that sounds like a good idea. Sherry and Don discuss a few ideas and decide to look into doing research. This is going past bounded rationality as they're looking into it more. Don discusses this with Jack. Hey Jack, me and Sherry were just talking earlier and we were thinking about how we didn't really do a lot of research that we could have done figuring out what the best decision to go about with the company would be. Well. I mean, we could do whatever, but I think we're onto a solid thing right now. Jack's a little hesitant to do any further research because he feels pretty added, pretty satisfied with what they've come up with so far. He's still in the realm of bounded rationality. Well, Jack, I mean, the product concept, it, it could be targeted better, to, it could be utilized and targeted better towards other demographics. We could do further research and figure out a better way of going about this. Dawn, we've already started putting everything into work. I don't understand why we need to waste our time doing further research. Jack is still showing a lot of resistance. As the episode carries on, you'll see where that's made a point. Sherry confronts Jack. Jack, I was talking to Dawn. Yeah, yeah, she already told me. Well, I don't understand why you're being so resistant to this. Think about it. We generally just went off with the first easiest idea. Imagine if we did a little bit of research, we could find a better concept, better target market. We could go ahead and open up better sales teams. Let's let's just take our time and look into it. Oh, fine. Sherry confront. Sherry points out to Jack about his irrational thought process where he's just going with the uh, quick and initial plans. I 
I really hope I can go ahead and get him to see that he's kind of just not thinking right now. Hey Jack, I want to talk a little bit about selective perception. Maybe it'll help you realize where you're kind of not seeing what everyone else is considering in all this. All right, Sherry, let's talk. Jack and Sherry decide to get in the elevator, and as they go down, she explains to him what exactly selective perception is and irrationality. After he considers it, he starts thinking about changing the plans to appease Sherry and Don. Here you see the group coming together. They discuss their target market, and though Jack kind of resents it because he feels like it's just irrelevant, he gives it a shot. They do further research, and the company moves on. So in this episode, you saw where, after the first episode, where they made a decision on a target market and their strategy, overall business strategy, one of the partners decided to think maybe we didn't really consider it too much. She was reflecting on the bounded rationality that the group had followed. Bounded rationality is to focus on the obvious, quick, resolve issue without considering going further in depth and doing further research. It's to make the decision that doesn't require much research. As she confronts one of the, owner, uh, one of the other partners, he seems hesitant. He has an issue that's known as irrationality. He's making the point that, well, we should do it this way because it makes sense to him. He doesn't have a rational theory behind it, and there's resistance because he doesn't want to consider other options. That goes into selective perception. From his perspective, he sees it his way, and he chooses not to try to consider the other perspectives by the other members. That causes a conflict in the group. Later, this is resolved where Sherry decides to talk to him one-on-one -on -one multiple times, and he eventually decides to consider the other people's perspectives. And this led to them coming back and discussing their target market. Thank you.